Okay, just a short check of where's the life. I didn't read any manual. Let's see how far I can get to with that thing here. Uh, you buy it, you get this authorization code, put it into your Steinberg Download Center software. You have to install that first, then you go to VSD Live, install it, and then you start it. Everything without dongle, that's wonderful. And uh, it's checking all your folders, VSD2 folders. Uh, and so far, this is a Mac M1, I've got everything. Any Complete 13, Arturia V Collection, Isotope Suite. Uh, bah, whatever UHE and, and Brainwork stuff and Wave stuff, everything worked uh, and uh, no hassle with that. So far so good. Uh, uh, this page appears. Uh, these videos are quite useless for me right now, but you get the user manual. I'm going to look into that uh, later on. What this is, is uh, uh, just a f first check how far do I get as a, a person who wants to get to the value out of it as fast as possible and who's coming from main stage from logic and all in all it looks like uh, the whole thing like this Cubase new endo philosophy or Cubase elements and you got the MacBook Air now here from 44.100 kilohertz uh, I got a complete uh, SL everything worked immediately and the default layer is the Helion Sonic SE it, it comes along with it that's quite good uh, you have um, a patch up with it, you have RetroLock with it, and a lot of uh, this standard Steinberg stuff. So that's good, uh, but it's not that as much as you have in main stage, of course. Yeah? Uh, but yeah, Helion Sonic is, is, is quite compatible, in a way it is. Then you say new project, and the whole thing uh, appears here, and uh, you have a thing that's called layers. Here, immediately, you have to uh, uh, understand. Um, it's the second time that I use it, by the way. Yeah? Uh, so don't take this for granted here. Um, uh, there's a set list. Uh, the set list is OK. Yeah? Your set list is uh, different songs. Within these songs, you have different parts, like uh, intro. And I tried, can I, can I write in intro? This is intuitive, yes. Uh, you just write intro, so that is my intro here. And this is what, what's uh, uh, happening in the intro. And uh, from main stage, you know, you have different instruments, and here they're called layers. Uh, and uh, uh, layer one is Helion Sonic SE, and if I play my keyboard, I can. It works immediately. And uh, I can uh, switch between audio, which is VST instruments also, or um, it's not uh, to mistake with uh, audio input. So this is an audio instrument. Or MIDI, uh, for that I use an external MIDI uh, thing like my Prophet Tenure or whatever I use on stage. Uh, so uh, this is internal uh, native and this is external MIDI gear. So that's easy to understand. Uh, what I uh, thought then, uh, I can d add different layers here. This is also very uh, nice to understand, quite easy. And the second uh, layer is also on Heliosonic SE. Uh, can I use a different instrument? And like in all these Steinberg instrument, uh, Steinberg software, you have uh, the right side here. You can click here so that it disappears. Or you have down there that it disappears. And I have these plugins and I have instruments. And let's take Diva here. I don't know. Uh, any any uh, plugin I find here. And drag and drop. That's what I also found. And that's quite nice. Yes. And once it's in there, it's a little bit resource hungry. Uh, I have. So what's happening now? I have a layer um, uh, uh, of two instruments working together. And uh, uh, within zones, I can say left zone would be uh, um, the Helion Sonic SE and right zone would be the Diva. What's not here in that, that's in main stage, that I have, uh, uh, this is my intro, uh, if I want to switch between these instruments here, uh, I use this this button here. Uh, uh, um, I, I can't use my PC um, uh, keyboard here to switch between those. Uh, I must use the mouse here. Or, or so, so uh, obviously this is not, as I understand it, meant as uh, you switch here between the instruments. Uh, you can do this here. Uh, so I, I add an uh, within this song. Um, I add another part. And uh, this part I call intro, intro 2. Intro 2. And uh, in this one I have this instrument, and here I have a Helion Sonic SE. I can go into the Helion Sonic, and that's also like in Cubas and everything, and uh, put in a string ensemble, and uh, this is my intro 2. So uh, now I use my PC keyboard to switch between both.
So that works quite quite nicely. Uh, what you also have this program change from external here. You can adapt it in the volume. What I would like to see is uh, um, just uh, take the right uh, um, uh, mouse click here and have a learn function directly from this menu. This doesn't work. Why don't they do it? I also uh, probably I have to go into this actions thing here. Um, that's a little bit like uh, um, a main stage, but in main stage it's much more complex. And I can say a, a plus here, act, put in an action, and there are your different quick turn controls. And so there's a little bit, bit an adaptation to this main stage thing. But uh, I don't want to use this. Sorry, this is much too complicated for me. I want to see um, uh, just uh, um, something. And now it's crashing. Yeah. Okay, you see. <laughs> I want to see something that works right out of this learn function. Yes, uh, you've seen it. It's uh, it's crashing. Yes, it's. In, uh, yeah, I don't know what I did here, but I'm not responsible for that. Sorry, uh, but uh, as you know, I'm an early adapter. This uh, these things do happen, so I don't don't complain on that here. So okay, let's go back to this layers again. You see, you see it's starting very easy. Also, complex things are starting very easy, and that's what I expect from a live tool, but. Um, this learn thing doesn't work. And the other thing was, uh, if I don't want to use the Helion Sonic SE internal effect uh, here, uh, I have a different synth uh, um, and I want to use some Cubase effects. I go into plugins here and you have uh, presets, all this uh, stuff you know from also other Steinbeck programs. But I have effects here and now I have this Steinbeck thing and I want to add a mono delay and drag and drop it. Drop it. Uh, if I do it, uh, Helion Sonic SBE disappears and now this is the mono delay. So what I do, do I do with that? I, I don't understand that. Why, why don't they just put in an insert slot here and leave this here uh, as a Helion Sonic and I put in a mono delay and do that. Uh, so um, that's what I thought uh, would be nice, but uh, they did it somehow uh, different. Um, also I have a Helion 6 here, by the way, but this one still works only with the dongle. Yes. It's not adapted dongle free so far. So um, uh, I thought, how do I manage that? Then you go to the mixer. And within the mixer, I thought, where are the inserts here? And can I make it bigger and all this shit? I didn't find it. But there's this little e button and then you have your inserts. And then I can go back here into the plugins again and into the effects, go into the mono delay, put it in here. And I have a mono delay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and all the other things here. Also here, I would like to see a learn function again. Why don't they do it? I have these faders at my keyboard here, or I use uh, the X-Touch from Behringer, and I have faders, and, and out of the box I do this. Uh, you can also work with sense, of course. Um, so the mixer is very basic with sense and this stuff here. Uh, all the other things you have to put in as a, um, a, a plug-in. If I go to um, Plugin Alliance, uh, let me sh see if I can put, it, can put in a console SSL here. Let's, <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, I don't, yeah, it, it does. Just a second. Yes. So that, that, there I have, I have a console in, in the back as an insert and can use that. So uh, I don't complain. Th this is okay. What's about stacks? Stacks is nothing else than um, uh, just say plus again. You want once you make as an input or you you take your um, uh, external audio gear and take your guitar and put in uh, an audio here. And there you have your sense. You can uh, check anything as a sense black black hole from Eventide. It works. And uh, you have also your inserts and uh, H reverb and um, waves. It also works. Uh, and you can use that along with all these things here. What I really like um, is the following thing. I got these tracks now, and now we come to the sequencer stuff. Um, I, uh, that was what I didn't like in main stage. You have to put in a plug in to play an audio file. Here I just can go in and uh, just make it smaller and uh, take an audio file from my desktop, put it in here, and uh, after that it's and I can play along with it. Um, one thing I, I uh, still I don't, didn't like that much about this is the next idea I had 
uh, and I also had that in main stage and didn't manage to get it. It would have been very nice if, if they've uh, just said, okay, put in the locator here and take this part one and say, uh, put it in here within the locator. Oh, Siri, talk with me. And, and then from there to there, we've got part one. Uh, and, and from the, the other thing uh, 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 here, uh, I've got part two. Uh, so while the play playback is running, it's switching um, all these parts from one to the other. Uh, who wants to switch between parts while you're doing complex stuff and uh, maybe within one part, uh, you're in this layer, you want to have different sounds you want to switch in between. <sighs> so <laughs> maybe it works, you might find it out, but, but intuitively, this is not working. This would be very consequent uh, to have a, a sort of a part track. They have audio track, MIDI track, lyric track, which is great. You have chord track, uh, which is mm, a little bit tricky. It's not like the chord track you have in Cubase, a little bit different. Uh, and uh, a sampler track, let me have a look. I'm not sure if this uh, uh, is... Uh, nah. I don't understand this uh, MIDI in, okay, yeah. Okay, and if I put in a sample here, uh, why don't they have in the media bay uh, some samples, some sounds? There's nothing. Uh, I mean a basic little thing. Now I have to go to the desktop again. Oh, maybe I switch that in here. No, I can't, can't do that. So this is different from the sampler track I know from Cubase. So sorry, uh, at first sight I don't understand it. Um, but uh, this track thing uh, is not to confuse with a real DAW uh, because uh, if, if you want to uh, put in here something like uh, um, a MIDI track, let's put in a MIDI track and what about quantizing? You only have 32, 16, 8, I can't work with that. Uh, I hope that if I go into the file menu up here and say import MIDI file, why don't they import CPR or NPI files? Sorry, it's Steinberg, yes, but, but uh, probably they're not compatible because they have uh, this mighty stuff and this will not work with it. So you import MIDI file and if the MIDI file has a uh, trials, uh, I'm not sure if this will read it. So it's, uh, I think it's not to be misunderstood as a DAW or a sequencer you use for uh, something like producing. I also cannot move uh, between the faders. It, it's not becoming a hand or something. Uh, you have to do this. And there are some basic things up here, but it's even weaker than Cubase's on the iPad. Yes. Um, so um, the organization uh, in the track things for me of, of the whole live show could be better. Um, uh, this is the elements thing here. Uh, you also have uh, in the big version, which is about 80 bucks, uh, you have um, video and a DMX track. Who needs it uh, on stage? Who wants to do everything like somebody playing in a hotel or so, wants to put a whole show with a beamer, uh, with a projector or uh, um, some lights. Well, well you can produce everything. And for that, the sequencer, I think that that's what, what they meant with, with the sequencer. Um, but then please do like this. Maybe it's possible in a way, um, but um, not intuitively and you have to read a lot and then you get lost in all this menu stuff and so. Um, so uh, maybe they listen to others who also um, do some videos like this or, or do have solutions for this that are easy. Um, for me, this is quite okay. Um, uh, uh, it's against uh, main stage 30, it's 60, yes. <laughs> but uh, when you're coming from Cubase on the Yoando, it's quite good, but not compatible, also not with com Cubase. Uh, the mixer is very basic, but uh, it gives you the opportunity to even put some effects uh, sent or inserts on your layers. You have some stacks, you can play along. Uh, what I really like with the tracks is that you can <laughs> start everything and uh, then you can have different songs and switch between the songs and the parts and you move down the whole thing uh, so <clears throat> it's working it's stable uh, except this little thing that happened uh, five minutes ago and uh, so that's it my at first sight don't misunderstand me this is not it was not a tutorial it was just to show you how somebody who is buys it and uh, first touch how far you can get uh, probably are there more things you can do with it, but um, 
uh, it's useful for me um, and uh, um, the whole MIDI thing in main stage for me is a little bit more sophisticated where I can really um, build, bring in my complete uh, um, thing here or uh, um, uh, other um, things. L let me just have one uh, look if it works um, because it's a little bit turnaround. If I go to, into instruments and go to Arturia so and, and put in analog lab or even better I go to native instruments and go into complete control. Let me look wh what's happening then. Uh, if I can have via my keyboard uh, uh, the complete control. I go into the browser here uh, at my keyboard now uh, go into uh, native instruments uh, and put in absinthe and say load I'm loading here absinthe it seems to be absinthe uh, I go back uh, but it doesn't appear here here is ah let, let me look aha uh, then you can see it yes and there's also this button down here ah there I have uh, 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 fast controls but again I cannot have a, I don't have a learn function here well it's working but uh, learn function would have been better uh, put in another one here um, so now I have control via uh, third party products uh, into like battery yeah? uh, to do something so this is uh, uh, semi great for me <laughs> as to say because uh, if I have that I do another one in here uh, I can uh, then that's native instruments, yes. Um, I have, um, let's me, FM8, for example. Um, I put it in, coming down, and uh, then you see uh, I use the faders here, and uh, immediately I can, can uh, manipulate everything from there, yes. Would be really good if, if they ever learned would have within that reason they would have learned function. But um, well, so um, if I take this as a VST, a powerful VST shell, and then take something like a Turia, and comp uh, like NF, uh, uh, a Native Instruments Complete Control, or Analog uh, uh, Lab 4 by um, Arturia, uh, I can have all the wonders of uh, remote control. I'm really looking for within something like this here. But this alone should be uh, only the core of it. Hope you liked it. was a lot of talking. Uh, if you stayed with me, it's exhausting now. But um, yeah, that's it. And uh, have fun with it. So far it's working. And if I invest more time, um, I think I can get a, go a long way with this. <clears throat> but I still use main stage. Uh, let, let's see in the next years uh, what be, would be the number one out there. Okay.